Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. If you don't believe me, well, here's the proof. See that? Ohio, baby! <laughs> yeah, man. Or is it Oishu? I don't know. Anyway, yep, I'm in a goofy mood because we're going to be... I don't know why that has to do with bourbon, but um, we are going to talk about and try Yellowstone bourbon. This is Yellowstone Select Construct Construction Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 93 proof, from the Limestone Branch Distillery in Lebanon, Kentucky. Uh, this bottle I bought at the distillery, MSRP is $40. Um, I got this last May, so I've been sitting on this. Well, I haven't been sitting on it, you can see. That would be quite just uncomfortable and somewhat painful. But I've <laughs> had it here for about, well, since last May. And i uh, been waiting for the right time and the right people to come around so I can taste and try it. And since you're here as my guests, let's try it, right? Right. So let me get a clean glass. You know what? Let's get let's get something that's uh, a little fancy. I don't know if this is a glass or a candle holder or what, but it's fancy, right? There we go. Now, um, give you a little, little uh, info, a little 411 on this. And of course, if you're in another country, I don't know if you know what 411 is, but that's our information phone number here. So, then do we use it anymore now that we got smartphones and Google? Anyway, here's some info. This is, now this is interesting because um, in Kentucky, it seems like everyone's kind of connected to the Beam family, as in Jim Beam. So this is, um, let's see, do, 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 do. Stephen Beam, and I think one of his other, maybe his brother or something, um, descendants of M.C. Beam. Um, so the Beam family runs this. They're not affiliated with Jim Beam. I do believe, from what I've researched, and if you're at the Yellowstone Distillery, distillery, um, this is a, an MGP product. And if you don't know what MGP is, I got a video for that, right? It's on the channel. Um, wow, it smells pretty delightful. But, um, you know, a lot of these distilleries, this is a highly acclaimed bourbon. Everyone seems to like it. But let's see what I think, right? Right. It's got that nice caramelly butterscotch color. <sighs> Smells like good premium bourbon. When I bought this, 40 bucks, that was kind of, <laughs> that was on my upper echelon. I'm like, 40 bucks for bourbon, I'm going to hold on to that one. I ain't going to drink it, I paid so much for it. But I've paid a little bit more for other stuff, so why not? And I've been wanting to try it. I love the label. It's so Old Westy. Look at that. Would you look at that? It's like Old Westy stuff. Um, oh, it's, it does smell really good. Well, let's see. The proof is in the tasting. Mm. Wow. Whoa. Now, as I, I as I mentioned in so many of my videos, um, I'm going to mention it because this could be the first video of mine that you're watching. I don't pick up on the smells. I don't pick up on the tastes. So if you are looking for, oh, oh, the rose hips and the cherries and the baked Alaska overtones along with that char of a T-bone steak, now, you ain't getting it here, all right? <laughs> I just know if I like it or I don't like it. I can pick up on some of those rudimentary tastes, but, you know, 
Don't look for highfalutin stuff from me. But it smells and tastes really good. It has a nice smoothness up front. There is a little burn on the back, but it's not obnoxious. It's not harsh. It's a nice, smooth, sipping whiskey. Oh, man, it is real. It's a nice whiskey. It's a nice bourbon. It's really tasty. Um, I feel $40 is a bit on the cheap side for this. It's kind of, for me, it's up there. Some of the ones I like are, um, man, like Michter's and Old Granddad, the bonded Old Granddad. Um, this tastes like, to me, it's got a high, higher rye content. The mash bill is undisclosed, so I don't know what exactly the mash bill is or the age. Um... It tastes like it's got a high rye on it. Um, not as high as, let's say, Wild Turkey or the Old Granddad, but it's got a good rye kick, which I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but it, it's, it's nice. It's so well balanced. Mm. So I like it. That's what daddy likes. <laughs> and um, it is one of the ones that I will not hesitate to buy again if, if, um, if I run out of this. And with all this bourbon, I'm not going to run out anytime soon. Do you see? I, this isn't even everything I got. I mean, I built some other shelves off to each side where I got other stuff that you can't see. <laughs> but um, this is a really good, inex to me, inexpensive. $40 is a good price for this. Um, even if it is an MGP, that doesn't mean it's bad or what. It just means that they get their mash and or their white dog from Indiana and they finish it off in the barrels and they they know in my opinion they know what they're doing it it's good it's smooth it's tasty um it's really good stuff it's not a foo-foo bourbon but it's not super harsh either it's so nicely balanced so if you i'm looking at the time i'm at the eight minute mark so i'm gonna wrap it up right if you have not tried Yellowstone and you want a nice, nice, a nice, nice, smooth sipping whiskey, something to have with your steak dinner. I love my steak and, and rib dinners. Or if you just want something to kick back and relax at the end of a, a hard day, that's going to drink smoothly and easily. That's the one for you. All right. I really like it. I am so surprised. I am so delighted. <laughs> so uh, there you go. That's my review of Yellowstone. I've never had this before. So when I do a first taste video, this is the absolute first time I'm ever trying this in my whole entire life. So that's my first reaction. So there you go. We will leave it there. It's me, David, again, coming to you from my whiskey den here in, in Ohio, central Ohio. Hope your next pour is your best pour, and we'll catch you later. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hey, everyone. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.